Hey everyone, welcome to another CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna be running through some text styling, some more of that, and we're also gonna be introducing some boxes and borders and uh, design layouts. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Notepad. And uh, we are going to simply put in the default HTML tag, so HTML head title, whatever title you want in here. So this is some more uh, CS, uh, external CSS. Close the title tag once you're finished with that. And then uh, now we're going to link to the uh, CSS style sheet. So link rel equals style sheet, href equals style.css. And remember, it can be whatever you want.css. Um, and I'm actually going to put this uh, inside a folder. So I'm going to do style, I'm going to make it inside the style folder. Then we close the head and uh, we can open the body. We're now going to just close the body and we are going to close the HTML. We're going to now save this to the desktop, so file save, oh, file save, we're going to click, uh, click desktop, and we're going to just save this as uh, index.html, you can save it as whatever you want, .html, press save once you're finished and happy with that, and a new uh, file should appear on the desktop. We're going to right click and we're going to open it with, and you can select which internet browser, we're going to just go for Safari today, <clears throat> so right click, open with, Safari, and if I open it up, you'll see there is just the title and there's no content here because we've got nothing inside the body tags. So now it's time to uh, change that and add some content into the body. So inside the body we're going to go div um, and we are going to go, uh, go div class and we're going to call it content. Close the div tag and we're now going to add some content inside obviously. So we're going to do uh, welcome to this website and we're going to have a couple of line breaks. Uh, BR, oh sorry, BR, BR. That was my phone just going off. Here is some content. Uh, content. Uh, so we go. And then we're going to close the, uh, we've closed the div tag already. So we're going to press file, save, and we're going to open it up again in Safari. <clears throat> now if you see it's opened up, it looks okay. It looks fairly ugly and there's no styling, doesn't look too stylish. So now it's time to uh, style the page using CSS. So we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it style, just like we said in the uh, coding, we said it's going to be in the style folder. So we're going to now open up Notepad again and create a new document. We are going to uh, start styling away now. So first thing to do, we're going to go, we're going to use a default tag and we're going to style the body tag first of all. And we're going to style this as font family, and we're going to do century gothic, and if that's not available, Arial, um, and then close that up. So like I said, century gothic, and if that's not available, Arial uh, will be replaced. So that's everything inside the body is going to have uh, that font. Uh, is going to have that font. Now it's time to use the content one, so dot content, because this is a custom one. Margin, and we're going to do zero and auto. Now this will centrally align what we're going to do, so the content. Um, we're going to do a width of 800 pixels, so 800px. Background color, we want a background color of, um, for now we're just going to do CCC, CCC, which is a light gray. And the border is going to be one pixel, so 1px, space, and we're going to have a solid one. And then the color, so we're going to do for this a darker grey, a slightly darker grey, so six nines. Um, once you're happy with that, press file, save as, and we're going to save it to the style folder, and we're going to save it as as we said, as style.css. Once you're happy with that, press file, save, and as you can see, it is now, the uh, CSS is now in the style folder. So now it's time to open it up again and see what's changed. As you can see, we've now got a grey box with a one pixel border, with a slightly grey gray, uh, border. We've got the text, and uh, it's looking okay. It's obviously in the center now, which is nice. It's a uh, in century gothic, uh, uh, century gothic uh, font. But now it is time to really, really style it. So we're gonna we're gonna add a uh, we're gonna add a, um, some padding to the uh, content. But first of all, we're gonna do some styling with the the text itself. So T1, and again, this is a custom one. We're gonna do font size 16 pixels and then font uh, weight, and we're going to do bold, so that's basically just selecting it as bold. Press file, save, and we're going to go back to the HTML, and we're going to create, and we're going to put in the div tag, so div, 
Actually, we're going to do span for now. So span class equals t1. And I'll show you in a minute what's wrong with, well, not, what, not what's wrong with, but what isn't as good with span. Press refresh. And as you can see, it is now bold and uh, 16 pixels, um, the text, which is the default one anyway. Um, now we are going to change the color a bit. We're going to make it a, uh, a dark gray, so it's not, not as harsh as a black. So six fives will do nicely. Press file save, press refresh. And uh, as you can see, it has gone to a, a dark gray, but not quite a black, which is, uh, which is a nice, nice effect to add. Um, now obviously we can add some padding around here. So to do this, we're going to go to the content tag and we're going to, at the end of it, put in padding. And this will be padding around the whole thing, so 10 pixels of padding. Press file, save, go back here, press refresh or F5. And as you can see, there's 10 pixels of padding around the whole thing now, which is nice. It means it's less, um, yeah, there's more of a gap, more spacing, which makes it nicer. <coughs> um, but we are now going to centrally align the centrally align the text. So text align equals center. Um, press file, save, press refresh or F5. And um, as you can see, it hasn't done anything. Now this is where I, uh, I, I told you span, it doesn't work as well. So we're gonna change that to div again. Press save and press refresh. And as you can see, now with the div tag, it is working nicely. Um, but obviously, now, obviously, that we now that we're using div, we can um, we we can get rid of the line break, and we can add in in his padding instead in the CSS. So we're going to do another div class for the second one, class T two, and then close that. Press file, save, um, and then we're going to create the T two tag on CSS styling. So T two font size again. We'll do oh no, we'll do fourteen pixels. We'll do uh, color, and we'll do the same color. So five 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 five. five text align and again center um, <clears throat> center and now we want to do a bit of padding so we're going to do padding top so this means the padding above this text and we're going to add as 10 pixels then we're going to close it press file save go back to safari press refresh and as you can see there's 10 pixels of padding it's gone to the center it's gray and it's 14 pixels in size the font is which is a uh, which is nicely, nicely done it. Um, but um, if you wanted to create another box, we'd simply copy and paste one in, press refresh, press refresh, and ah, for some reason it has gone into the other box. So we'll look at the coding again and see what's gone wrong. Div class, some comment. Ah, I uh, foolishly closed the t2 tag, which doesn't exist. I was supposed to close div instead. Press refresh. And as you can see, it's now gone to two boxes. Now, if you wanted to add some padding between the boxes, that would be very simple to do as well. You'd go into the style for the content. You would do you would change the uh, the margin, and we've already put the margin in at the top. So, uh, sorry, here. So it would be zero auto, ten pixels, and then again auto. Press file, save, press refresh. And as you can see, there's ten pixels now. We could uh, easily change that so it would be uh, twenty pixels. So if you wanted to do that, we would simply type in. 20, file, save, press refresh, and as you can see, there's now 20 pixels of padding. So this is looking really nice, and this is a good start to our content. Now, quickly, we're gonna look into this, we're gonna open this up in Internet Explorer, and I'm gonna show you a, a small issue with Internet Explorer. As you can see, the boxes have not aligned in the center, they've gone right to the left, which is a complete pain. Now, a quick fix for this is to, we're just gonna minimize this, and a quick fix is in the CSS styling. So we're going to go into the style folder and we're going to just quickly resize the folder. We're going to open up uh, the CSS style. We're going to open it up in Notepad. And in the body tag, all you want to type in is text, align, center. And press file save or control S. Press, oh, press refresh. And as you can see, it is now aligned in the center in Internet Explorer. Thanks for watching guys, more video tutorials coming up soon. Bye for now.